Hey guys, it's Bish Shuzzy here and welcome to episode 59 of the Berlin Dynamo series. Pretty much continuing on from uh, from last episode, we played a few games. Unfortunately, we did suffer a defeat just prior to me recording this. So I'll go over the recent fixtures. Uh, we've still got a four-point gap there on FC Cologne as well. I won't go into the league table too much. Uh, we've only played about three games between now and last episode. Uh, of course, the previous episode was the 5-0 destruction of Hertha Berlin and then the sort of disappointing 2-0 um, draw against Osnabrück. I say it's disappointing. It's only disappointing because we conceded both goals in stoppage time. Uh, but at the end of the day, we, we didn't play too well and we probably deserved to not win the game, I guess. I don't know if we really deserve to lose because we obviously... We were 2-0 up at one stage, so yeah, I don't know, it's a weird one. Um, and then, yeah, so two games between now and last episode. We had a 6-0 victory uh, against Kemnitza. Jakobsen, of course, getting himself yet another hat-trick for this season. It's pretty incredible. Um, he's just he's just a, an absolute beast at two Bundesliga level, uh, the second tier here in German football, so... Very happy to see that. Regragui getting on the score sheet as well. And then Gel slotting away a penalty. Uh, we also had Jabali on the score sheet there just prior to half time. So yeah, very convincing victory. And then a very, very disappointing loss against Kaiserslautern. Um, a win here would have essentially kept us six points ahead of FC Cologne, which would have been massive, especially going into that that last game of the season where we will be versing them on the final day. Uh, as you can see, we were just very poor defensively, very poor. Uh, Mel Jazz with a 6.2. Hetafer at the back there is always going to be a bit of a liability, um, and he has been at times throughout this season, unfortunately. Uh, but they opened the scoring. We got a goal back through Jakobsen just after halftime. Uh, Bednarek getting an assist for himself there. Uh, and then Bennett scoring two goals in two minutes made it very, very difficult for us to, to get anything out of the game. Jakobsen got himself a second goal in the 76th minute, but we just couldn't find a, another equalizer there, unfortunately. As you can see, they, they absolutely dominated possession as well. So, yeah, it's a tough one to, to take. That was our first loss in a very, very long time. Uh, as you can see, the last loss was all the way back here in... The end of November. So that was a 2-1 loss there against Elversburg. Um, it's been a very long time, man. It's been it's been good. We've, we've had the, the best form I think I could have probably ever imagined going into this season. Um, and we find ourselves top of the league. So all is not lost. Of course, today we've got that very, very big game for our, our second game of the episode there against Bayern Munich. Uh, but we do have Darmstadt up first. Uh, they're in 10th place. They're okay at the moment. They're, they're not. They're sort of just mid-table, um, not really doing too much, but not really, you know, not really losing too much either. All right, so the lineup for today's game. We're going to go with Mosquera. Um, basically, Meljez, he was poor. He was piss poor in that last game. He got a 6.2. So we'll bring uh, Mosquera back in. Look at his scout report. He's actually got... says that he's a good Bundesliga player, so... Yeah, um, as you can see, four-star, unlikely to improve with his potential, despite only being 24, I think. Yeah, 24. Um, whereas you look at Melges, you know, he's three and a half star, so he's theoretically not as good, um, but he's also still a decent Bundesliga player. Um, and then his potential is that same sort of level as Mosquera, uh, being a, a good Bundesliga potential ability. And like I said, they're very even. I think Meljez has the potential to be better as he does have, you know, a little bit more potential to grow. So, yeah. Anyway, that's uh, the goalkeeping situation. Uh, everything else is pretty much like the, the full strength. Um, Pavicic, of course, I mentioned him being back last episode. Dybali's just playing a little bit better than him at the moment. Of course, Pavicic played last game, didn't play too well. Dybali was out injured. Uh... So yeah, I've just decided to go with Jabali today. I don't know why. I just feel like it's the smarter choice. I don't. It's just a weird feeling I have. I don't know. Pavicic, 
doesn't seem like he's in the same sort of form that he left. Um, but yeah, Regragui and Sanhaji in the midfield as well there. Everything else, as per usual, it is our usual suspects. And we are looking to get a big win here. We need to win this game. It's very important. We, we come out and win this one. Uh, bounce back from the loss straight away. I don't want to draw. I don't want to lose. We need to win. I think we can do that today. I'm really hoping that last game was a, a one-off sort of freak disaster with, you know, a poor defender. Melges playing, you know, his, probably his worst game of the season. I think it's definitely, definitely the case. Anyway, Gel in behind, 1-0. Good start, good goal. I believe, was it Jabali with the assist? I think it was Jabali. It was too. There we go. Tactical mastermind. Uh, but you'd love to see it. Gel doesn't, he hasn't been scoring sort of too many goals from, from open play. Um, he's definitely been showed up a little bit by Jakobsen this season. We need to press on. We've had some big games, like big scoreline-wise games. You know, the, the Hertha one comes to mind, Chemnitzer as well. Um, big scoreline. So I want to try and be clinical today, get a lot of goals, um, because even if we do, you know, falter defensively, we'll be able to, we'll be able to deal with the problems. And, you know, realistically... Um, we're going to be up against it massively in this in this second game of today's episode. I'm uh, I'm I'm looking forward to it. I've, I've scored a goal there. That's literally taken a deflection. That's that's frustrating. Very frustrating, actually. I think that's Barry, our former player, playing uh, left wing there for Darmstadt. The the player we sold for five million to Wolfsburg. Oh, Sen Haji, first goal of the season, and it's an absolute banger. On the edge of the box, top bins, bang, and we're back in the lead, two one. And now Darmstadt, once again in possession. And they're in the box. And that's the second goal. We're not defending today. We're not defending. Defensive fragility at the moment. The entire back line. And they've got a corner now as well. Stoppage time of the first half. Oh my god. Ooh, okay. Gotta relax. Gotta relax. Conceded three goals from three shots on target now. Okay. I was expecting this against Bayern Munich, not against Darmstadt, but anyway. Somehow we find ourselves behind at halftime. 3-2. Jakobsen wins the ball back though. At least we're looking pretty clinical as well. Oh, that's annoying. That, that could have been another goal. All right, Senhaji with the corner. Jabali, oh, come on, just finish that. Put it in the back of the net. All right, I'm gonna make a sub here. Um, Davidson's getting absolutely torn to shreds by Barry on that left-hand side. Just looking elsewhere, like their defense is actually playing well. Their defense is playing well, our defense is playing terribly. I don't, I don't understand it. And now Mosquera is on a 6.2 as well. 
Well, I talked last episode about goalkeepers, and then I've had two absolute stinkers in a row from different goalkeepers as well. Now Barry's cutting inside. Luckily, he's got no right foot. One of the reasons why I was happy to sell him. Oh, but this is unacceptable, honestly. Um, we'll bring Mera on, I think, for, for Bednarek. I mean, Jabali's playing really well. All right. All right, we've got 15 minutes left. I'm, I'm going to demand more. I mean, our attacking strength today has actually been pretty good. It's literally just defensive fragility. Three shots on target for three goals. And Darmstadt are playing out of their minds somehow. Making me very, very nervous going into to the end, end of the season, the last few games. Come on, boys. Let's at least get one more back. All right, Abba, off the bench. Can he make an impression? Jabali is offside. He's always offside, Jakobsen. I don't know. He scores goals for fun, but he just strays offside all the time. There we go. Another 3-2 loss. Actually, I'm getting really frustrated with that. That's... We conceded three goals for two games in a row. I don't really understand that. We've still got a three-point gap, but that's, that's lucky that we've still got that three-point gap. Again, if, if we won that game, it'd be a six-point gap and we'd pretty much win the league. So frustrated. I mean, he... Yeah, I don't even know. Both goalkeepers, absolutely terrible. Apparently, Abba's already natural now at right back. He's played like three games there. Come off the bench seven times, I guess, but that's pretty cool to see. He's only had eight appearances. I, I don't even think all of them were at right back, if I'm being honest. Anyway... All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to skip forward the two days and I'll join you guys back for the lineup. I'm going to forget about the league for a second. Bayern Munich, DFB, Pokal, semi-final. Here we go. All righty. So here we go. Bayern Munich. Uh, I've made a couple of changes. So in goals, Melges coming back in. Mosquera got a 6.1 last game. Three shots on target. For three goals. That's not good enough. And if you played like that against Bayern, we'd probably concede about five or six minimum. Um, so yeah, Melges, he also played pretty badly the last game he played. So actually what I'll do is I'll warn him. Uh, I'll do that. I'll actually go last game because he didn't play in the last game. Um, anyway. Uh, and Puthi's been warned about his form as well. It started to dip a little bit, so it's part of the problem for the last two games. Uh, Senhaji's not really fit. I would probably play him if he was at full fitness. As a result, Veloso Dos Santos is going to come in. Um, and yeah, they're the only changes. I was thinking about Pavicic, but then Jabali, you know, he got two assists in the last game, so we've pretty much got to play him. And realistically, we need a, we need a big game from Jakobsen. And also from Davidson as well. Uh, when both those guys are firing for us, we are we are the best team in the league. So <laughs> hopefully we can have that. And you know we are the best team in the in the two Bundesliga at the moment. Um, I'm assuming Bayern Munich are first. Yep, they are first in Bundesliga as well. The best of the first division versus the best of the second division here in this semi final. Um, the only other time he versed Bayern was in the DFB Pokal second round, I think. And we did, of course, lose that game. So here we go. Moment of truth. A real proper test for Berlin Dynamo. Just having a little look at their team. They got Delic, they got Davies, they got Zaire Emery. Oh, that's tough. Feng, Feng Yang 
is an absolute superstar of a new gen. Chinese new gen. Uh, they got Shelder up. They got Fernandez, who's also a really, really good player. Um, I believe they just got him on loan in January from Man City. Uh, and the guy is world class, like proper world class. Uh, so, yeah, he's going to be taking shots at our goalkeeper, who was pretty dreadful in his last game. And that was against Bundesliga, you know, two Bundesliga opponents. You know, in theory, I, I did think about going with the uh, the, the more defensive 4-3-3 tactic, but um, yeah, I decided not to. We're just going to play this out. Like I said, you know, realistically, I expect to lose this game. But we're going to try and be the underdogs. We're going to try and take it to them and just see if we can beat them, to be honest. Um, I think the, the, the time we did play Bayern previously, they, they could barely beat us. And Jakobsen's in behind. He's onside as well. He had to score that. What an opportunity for a goal there. That's disappointing. Really, really disappointing. Oh, Naranjo and Davidson both on yellow cards. Good save. Jabali's on a yellow card as well. It's going to take tackle harder off of all three of them because they're just... We're asking for trouble with that on. All right. Flying with the corner. It's another good save by Meljez. He's, he's holding his own at the moment. He is definitely holding his own. We're approaching half time. We haven't had a shot on target yet. Although Davidson does have a throw in to Gel. Jabali gets cleared away. We do win it back though. And it's back into Gel. Oh my god. Jakobsen puts it in the back of the net. And he's onside on the stroke of half time. I don't believe it. We've, we're currently in the lead in the semi-final of the DFB Pokal against Bayern Munich. Ooh, got to breathe, breathe. All right. I'm just going to praise him. I, I don't really know what else to do. Do I go to the defensive tactic now? Surely not. I should, but I'm not going to. Because that would be literally inviting pressure. And I don't want to do that. All right, Meljez. The Naranjo. We're coming forward. Ednarak. Good ball out to Davidson. Gel Jabali. Oh, the cross was on. Oh, Davidson. Oh, man. We were so close then again. We've got another highlight. Although we lose the ball. Try to rate. Terrible. Really should have passed that ball. Oh, Gel stolen it. That's the weakest effort I've ever seen. Oh my god. It must be the pressure. He was one on one with the keeper and he did nothing with it. Alright, I'm gonna pause it here quickly, make a sub. Mare is gonna come on for Bednarek. And then both of our midfielders have been terrible. Senhaji or Dos Santos, I think. I know he's got a little bit... Oh, Zay Emery's in behind. Shut it down. It's over. Thank God. Yeah, I, I just prefer Reg Ragui at the moment. I feel like he's probably just a bit of a better player. Well, he, he, he's not a better player, but he's performing better. If that makes sense. 20 minutes left to go. 20 minutes. I'm going to make another sub here in a second. All right. Pause it there. 75th minute. Uh, we're going to go Abba. Abba for Davidson. Make him tackle harder again. I'm getting real nervous now. We're actually in the lead at the moment. All right. Another sub. Another sub. Uh, 
Uh, Tyru for Rugwawi. Avicic as well. I think that's my last sub. I don't think I can make any more after this. We're almost at the 90th minute. Oh, there's a highlight. Meljez pumps it long. And Bayern have possession. Although we steal it back. Good interception. Mira to Jakobsen. It's a poor ball. It's a terrible pass. And Bayern pump it long. We do clear it away. We're still sort of winning possession. This is dangerous. This is dangerous. Sesco. Oh, good tackle by Naranjo. Come on. Good save, Meljez. Come on. Are we about to do this? Are we, are we about to slay the giant? Yang Feng with a corner. Naranjo clears it away. They're still piling on the pressure, and it's shot over. Four minutes of added time. We've done it. We've actually done it. Get in there. Yes. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Gel with the assist. Jakobsen, absolute beast of a striker. I mean, Gel gets man of the match. Meljez, 7.5. And Puthi with a 7.4. Naranjo with a big tackle there. Mera coming, coming off the bench, causing big problems as well. And we're into the DFB Pokal final. Get in there. Who are we going to verse? The other, the other uh, semi-final was Dortmund and RB Leipzig. Leipzig would be a really good final for us. And it is indeed Leipzig. Wow. That's pretty cool. There we go. 2.56 million for, for playing in the, in the semifinal there. I think we get like 4 million for, for playing in the final. I'll have to double check that. Let me have a look. Oh, no, it's just another 2.56. And if you win it, you get an extra 2.56. And you actually qualify for the uh, Europa League league phase. So you go straight into the Europa League. Wow. We could essentially have European football if we win that game. Wow. Um, I guess we're doing an extra episode then. Because I want to do that, that cup final by itself. Interesting. Anyway, that is the episode. We have slain the giant Bayern Munich as league leaders of two Bundesliga. The, the best team in the second tier of German f football just beat the, the best team in the Bundesliga, the top division. Um, it, it's, pretty, it's pretty interesting because I, I was just looking back at the episodes previously when we first got relegated from two Bundesliga. Um, and just the, the sheer sort of frustration that I had with the, with the team, with the series um, as a whole back then, um, going back into three league, it was, it was a tough time. Um, challenging, really challenging. Um, I'm just so happy that we are where we are now. A lot of hard work, a lot of, a lot of luck as well in certain games. I think that goes without saying. Players like Jakobsen coming to the club, massively sort of assisting us. Ben Derek as well, someone like him of his ilk and quality. Uh, Meljez as well. Um, and then, you know, the, the other people along the way, the other players, the other coaches. It's all sort of led us to this. And we're on course for automatic promotion to the Bundesliga. And we are in the DFB Pokal final absolutely crazy to think about um and i'm super super happy i know you guys will be as well so smash a like on the video subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so i think it's about 65 percent of you guys you watch the videos but you're not actually subscribed to the channel uh, it's the best way to keep up to date with the episodes coming out in the future and apart from that guys as always take it easy and goodbye